Hey, uh, how's your book coming along? Oh, it's coming great. I'm almost done, actually. I'm gonna see if I can get it published when I finish. <laughs> well, that'll be exciting. Fingers crossed. You heard anything from Auntie Melissa? Um, uh, no. No, I haven't. I, uh, I tried reaching out to her, but she still doesn't want to talk to me. Mom? Is everything all right? Yeah, sweetie, everything's fine. Seriously, what's going on? I told you it's nothing. Mom, don't lie to me. If you really want to know, I'm meeting with Mr. Big. Lamar? Yes, Brittany, I need to finish what I started. What are you talking about? I'm coming with no, you. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Please, Mom. No. Please, I don't want you to go by yourself. I can handle myself. I don't want you getting caught up in this mess. Right now, I need you to stay put. Do you understand me? In the meantime, I want you to clean up this house. It's your birthday tomorrow. Okay. Fine. All right. Thank you. I will be back. I promise. I love you. I love you too, Mom. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's what the fuck you get.
Look who it is. What's up, pig? Where's Reese? Oh, he was here. He had to leave to take care of business. Seriously? Why did you want me? Look, he left you a letter. A letter? What the fuck is this? He could have called me. You know how Reese is. What the hell you think you're doing? Come with me. Come with me. What? I have some business to take care of. Hey, Paul, look who I found spying on us. Brittany? You really thought you could just sneak up on us? Hmm? You know what? I'm gonna end this now. You murderer! <laughs> Funny you mentioned that. Please, hands, hands! Hands up! Now, hands up where I can see him. Clever. Hands behind your head. Why didn't they kill him? You actually bought a gift? Yeah, of course I did. What'd you get? Got her some books by her favorite author, actually. That was sweet of you. I know she'll love them. Thank you, Alex. What did you get her, Trey? I didn't buy her a damn thing. Babe. Excuse what? me. What? I thought you said you got her something. Why the hell would I waste my money? I mean, especially if she may not show up. Dude, she'll be there, okay? John, you said that last time and she wasn't there. Goodness, man, as a late, I just can't deal with her. Can you, you be nice? Seriously, okay, you know what she's been going through. Yeah. And we need to be there for her. You my patience is just wearing real thin. Of course it is. Okay, let's just, let's just go there. See, let's see what happens. I agree with Alex. Right, it'd be good for all of us to see her. Yeah, if she shows up. Shut up, Dre. Surprised you can hear me. It's not like you know how to whisper. Let's go.
that. They can like break it down into stills and do clothes. It's a bunch of gangsters. It seems like it is, but I don't know. Yeah, but that's the thing. All rise. The Honorable Judge Jamie presiding. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Are all parties present? Yes, Your Honor. May be seated. Go ahead. Mr. Watkins, where were you the night Douglas Hayes was murdered? I was at home watching old black and white movies. Interesting. So you and your organization weren't behind the Westlake murder? Nah. I did not commit those crimes. Well, I can that. everyone. Mr. Watkins, we have footage that looks a lot like you and your team killing Douglas. Excuse me. There is no evidence that proves that Mr. Watkins is behind the murder. In fact, the footage we received yeah, we shows there could be any number yeah, of gangs that are popping up yeah, around the city. Lower your volume and have a seat. Those are the gangs you should be after, Your Honor. Everyone quiet, please. Quiet, please. This case will reconvene next Tuesday. Lamar Watkins, you will remain in the county jail until then, without bail. Court adjourned. I knew she wasn't gonna come. She's such a waste. Drake, can you, for once in your life, just be nice? No, I'm tired of dealing with this bullshit. Let's just wait a few extra minutes. What? Dude, we've been here for an hour and I haven't even ordered yet. All I got is this nasty ass water that tastes like shit. You, I asked him for two lemons and they only gave me one. I mean, how do you mess Drake, up on that? Like, how do you do that? Calm down. John, did you actually talk to her? Yeah, I did actually earlier today. And she told me that she was going to come. Yeah, so. well, obviously that was a lie. Look who it is. Oh, sorry, I'm late, you guys. Right? It's fine, we're just getting ready to work. Yeah. Let me take a look at the menu. I would actually check out the pizza. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that out. I really missed you guys. You guys just don't even understand. I'm glad that you made it. It's so good to see you. So, tell us, how have you been? Sorry, guys. No, no, no. Don't apologize. It's okay. It's all right. I was there today. Where? Mr. Big's trial. His case is on hold. Hey, are you serious? Can we all just have a nice lunch together? Dude, Brittany, that man is getting ready to face life in prison. I mean, what's Dre? wrong? Dude, seriously. Brittany, shut up. Don't. What the hell is wrong with you? Not even two minutes in and this happens. You are such an asshole. You see? Listen, he's just an 
asshole. You all right? I need to go. I took the just, time. Just stay. I just need some time. I'm sorry, you guys. With their fingerprints all over the weapon. And then we'll turn them into the police station. With the new and overwhelming evidence, they'll be forced to release Lamar and put Brittany and her friends away for a long time. Now, if that doesn't work, we'll have to put Plan B into effect. Understood? Really, y'all? Come on. Mr. Big is locked up. We could do what we want. Think about it. Are we really gonna take orders from a guy with a corny ass Saturday morning cartoon character's name? Oh, I don't think Reese would like that very much, now would he? All right, let me get this straight. You're trying to tell us that we should forget about the case. and let Mr. Big rot in prison. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> that is what he's Anyone else got anything they'd like to add? I thought not. All right, time to get a move on. Let's find Brittany and her friends, and don't forget to retrieve the weapons. Report everything back to me. Clock's ticking. Time to move out. So, uh, I'm at the beach. Gotta get going? Yeah, I got work in like 15 minutes. It's a good thing you work at the beach. Yeah, I love it, honestly. Okay, I'm off to work. Alright, babe. Have a good day at work. Okay. Thanks for your break. Okay, see you guys. Right? Yeah. Be nice. Fine. All right, what's going on? It's about what happened earlier. What about? I hate how things went down. She just didn't deserve that. Yeah, I agree. We've known Brittany for a while now. Just miss how our friendship used to be. We used to get ourselves into mischief. Doing things knowing our folks would be mad about. The best part is, we don't have a care in the world. Just memories are cold. But after the incident, friendship's been shaky. It's been worse the past few months. Honestly, you haven't really been the best of friends to me. I know. I have something to confess, John. What? I actually got Brittany a gift. Why would you worry about that? I didn't want to get my hopes up and, and look like an idiot, John. Well, we already are one, so it doesn't matter. We've got eyes on them. Ugly ass moms. 
you doing, boy? Excuse me. Put that down. Put that. Hey, fat that. Stop. It's been hard for us all. And it was tragic what happened. And I can't imagine the pain she feels. But the only thing we can do right now is be there for her. She needs us. It's gonna be better. I'm gonna make things right, man. Hey, you wanted to get out of here? Yes. Yeah. Let's go before he knows. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shit. I know you two to act like you did. You see me? Mm -hmm. My favorite knuckleheads. What's the third one at? We tried to throw our birthday dinner. Well, well I was playing. <laughs> I know it's Dre's fault. What? Yeah. yeah. Really? Look at you. All quiet. Usually the first one to open your big flapping mouth. But, but I did Shut up. It. All right, just let, let me. Just me. Shut up. I'll slap the fucking shit out of me. Anyways, is you gonna be at the mayor's party tonight? The big fancy one, the mayor's party? Yeah, it's a celebration of all the progress we've made as a whole. Rena should be there. Dedicated to her as well for helping us arrest Mr. Big. Interesting. They would have to be there. What time to start? I think more is open at 7 30. Uh, you ready? Yeah. That's a good idea. Now yeah, you be safe. What the hell is right? Oh, this fat ass kid is back. Hey! I'm gonna send you to Jenny Craig if you don't stop. What? Mr. Big is being accused of murdering Douglas Hayes. The police can't prove that Lamar is actually behind the murder based on the footage that has been provided. The police are investigating the weapons that were used during the time of his murder. The few guns that they have found so far do not match up to the ones that were used to murder Mr. Hayes. Weapons? He's on the move. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I mean, if I remember correctly, we're supposed to dress up. Dude, I hate knuckles. What? what? No, I hate dressing up. Dude, it'll be fine. Relax. All right, it's, this is for Brittany. Yeah, you got a point. Hey, hey, is that the, the same time? Yep. Um, sh uh, yeah, what do you guys, come on, let's uh, let's go this way. There's lots of white trucks. Trucks here. Man. I thought I saw. Let's just. This is
to check the other side of the building. You didn't get far. Chasing us! John, they got John! Trey, listen to me. Get to my house as soon as possible. Do you know? Yes. The job is done. Don't worry, we did. We're on our way back. Don't just stand there. Help me get him to the bathroom. Come on. What? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? What are you talking about? This, Jordan. Why did you save my life? I was just trying to... Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Dre, what, what's I going on? Explain. Oh, God. That's a dead body. No, 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 no. No, we're... We're gonna go to jail. No. Oh, no. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to jail. No. No, no, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be... Somebody's gonna make me their bitch. Shh. No, no, no. Calm down. No, no, no. They're gonna change my name to Drea. Calm down. Calm they're, they're down. They're gonna... Calm down? There's... There's a fucking dead body. Calm down. Dre? Look, this may sound crazy, but the lawyer who's always with Mr. Big is behind this. Her name is Gino. Gino? I haven't heard of her. She's devised a plan to capture and frame you guys for the Westlake murder. Originally, after this job was done, we were gonna turn you guys in with the weapons, forcing them to release Mr. Big. Well, now they have one of my friends. How are we gonna get him back? Uh, we I need know. to... I'm gonna get the police involved. No! You can't do that. Why not? No cop can be trusted. Most cops are in on Mr. Big's plan. This just gets worse. This is why I'm here. To help get your friend back. But more importantly, take down Gino and her men. Wow, that's great. I mean, did you think about how the three of us are gonna take down their army? Hey, I think I know somebody who can help us. Wait, what? You gotta be a special type of stupid. We have to do this. It's the only way to make sure. Yeah, I know. So how are we doing it? <sighs> Look, Gino's hideout is near the downtown area. Okay. There'll be two guards guarding the door. We need to somehow create a diversion so we can go in and take him out. That's a lot easier said than done. I've got a plan. 
Let's hear it. We're gonna grab her. And we'll capture them. I'll lead it. I'm in. Let's do it. What? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I know I haven't been a good friend. But I want you to know that I'm always here. I, uh, got you a gift. Happy birthday. Um, I'm gonna go help Harold and Jordan. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Nothing, Jordan. Come on. You can tell me what's going on. This isn't exactly how I saw this day going. Especially not the day before my birthday. I'm reliving the nightmare all over again. Um, I... I understand. Do you really? This very day, a year ago, I watched my mom's car burst into flames. She was inside it. That image is in my mind playing from the moment I wake up every day. My biggest fear is that the man who killed my mother will be on the streets again. Brittany, I'll do all that I can to prevent that nightmare. I promise. We all used to look up to Mr. Big. He was like a father figure to me. It hurt badly when he switched up. But that's why I joined Gino. To know and understand why. We need to get going. Time's not on our side. Drake, right, get in the front.
What's going on? Who are you guys? Well, hello. You and your friends have something in your possession that doesn't belong to you. Mr. Big's weapons. And tonight, my men are going to gather up all your friends and the weapons and turn you into the police station. No, 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 you can't. You can't. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and with all your fingerprints all over the weapons, it'll be enough to convict you of the murder and put you all away for a long, long time. <laughs> stop, stop, no, no, no. You can't. Oh, really? We can't? You dare underestimate us. <laughs> well, I assure you that you and your friends are in for such a special, special treat tonight. <laughs> Got Brittany. The rest of the stuff's in the car if you want to go get it. Melissa? Ah, uh, yes. Brittany. It is. Ugh. How could you? Why would you do this to us? I thought you moved. Mm -mm. Oh no, Brittany. I've been here all along working with Lamar. And guess what's for? What? Plan B. Plan B. 
Jordan, who does she mean? <laughs> Jordan, tell me what that is. Tell me. I see um, he forgot to give you all the details. Oh boy, you in for a big surprise. You see, all the police who are in on the plan are releasing this topic as we speak. What? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's headed to the party that the police was doing. No. Uh-huh. No. No, this can't, this can't. This can't be happening. No. <laughs> I see pathetic attempts have failed. Brittany, I'm so sorry. You're innocent. Did you really think you could prevent this from happening? <laughs> Seattle's here. We need to get the hell out of here now. Mr. Big is out. We need to hurry and beat him to the marriage party. You're coming with us, Gino. Let's go. Out. I repeat, Mr. Big is out. He's headed to the marriage party. We need backup and lots of ammo. I'm the executive director at the mayor's office, and I have the honor and privilege to introduce to you my, my best friend and colleague. We went to Seattle Pacific University together, and I knew even then that my best friend was going to make all the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, your mayor, Kim Warren! Good evening and welcome. I'm so glad that you all joined me and thank you for that wonderful introduction. In the last year, we have reduced gang activity significantly here in the city of Seattle. And I want to thank my dear friend Brittany for all she did into bringing that notorious Mr. Big Lamar Watson to justice. Again, I thank you for joining us this evening, and please enjoy yourselves. You got an invitation. I'm so proud of you. You did great. Oh, and thank you again for that wonderful introduction. 
Oh, your speech is so amazing. Oh. I'm so proud. They are so wise to choose you as our man. Right, I was just telling you. You are so special. You guys are the best friends that anybody could have. <laughs> Well, well, well. We made it. The party can finally get started. Oh, how rude of me. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Big. If y'all plan on living tonight, I'm gonna do exactly what I say. Mr. Big? How am I supposed to take you seriously with a name? Mr. Big? So the whole party can hear you? Mr. Big? Good. I think everyone's got it. Sit down. You! Turn that camera on and report us live. Hurry up! Now live, sir. Good. Hello, Seattle. Or better yet, me. Name's Mr. Big. I'm currently at the mayor's party. Can't you tell? We're all having a blast. We're gonna have even more fun in approximately in an hour. If Seattle doesn't bring me $25 million to the top of the building in a helicopter. Oh. Want to know what I mean by having more fun? <laughs> I'll be more than happy to show you. Get up. No. Please don't hurt her. Please, take my life instead. Ben, what? No. It's all right. Ben, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. You mean more to me than anything. I love you, Joyce. I love you. Do whatever you want to me, but please. Don't hurt her. I'm begging you. Wow. That's touching. Joyce! Clock's ticking. Give me my motherfucking money! Getting me out of that car, Colburn. Wouldn't miss this for the world. I promise you, this party will be remembered. Because we have planted a bomb 
in the building. <laughs> and when the time comes, it's gonna explode. Oh, oh Brittany! Coming with me. Come on. Get up! No one needs. Yes, no. No one needs this place. Give Less than an hour before the bomb explodes. I know. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Well, whatever it is, you better hurry up. Yeah. Sit your ass down. Why are you doing this? Your mother and a few of her friends used to work for me. They did most of my dirty work. That all changed after the Westlake murder. That night, we hid all the weapons that were used at your bombs. For what? Because your mother was somebody that nobody would ever suspect. That next day, she decided to leave the organization. She planned on turning against us. We had to stop her at all costs. When you cross me, consequences. So that's why you killed my mother. No, Brittany. He didn't kill your mom. I did. Mel, I, I know, I know. You just listen to me. No, you don't really understand what's going on. No, Mr. Big, he's good. No, 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 Mel, don't hang up on me. Please, don't, don't hang up on. Me. Don't hang up. You don't hang up. God damn it! <sighs> Mom, what's going on? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it was just a. It's a, a little miscommunication. That's all. Mom. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want you to worry about this, okay? Why don't you just go back to bed? Do you realize what you've done? It's my son, Paul. Look, deal with this. I'll be back. You spoiled little shit. My own sister betrayed me!
Come on, man. Time's running out. Just make that move, Hold on. Man, come on. I have a plan. Okay. I need you to make a distraction. Something, something big. Draw me so I can take him out. Okay. Let's shoot! I'm gonna slap the head. It's all right. It's all right. What the hell is wrong with you? I think it's my face. Stop seeing me. Brittany's on the next floor up. You have to go the other way to get there. What about you? What about Colburn? Don't worry about me. I'll handle him. Colburn likes to play games, but he's in luck, because I do too. Go. I'm all right, go. Damn. I suspected a lot of cops to be in on this, but you? What happened to one to make a difference? Ain't no choice. I got bills. And an ex-wife I gotta take care of. Oh shit, you wouldn't understand. Goddamn city doesn't pay me enough. Busting my ass all those years. And I got nothing to show for. You know, I'm quite disappointed, Coburn. I gotta make ends meet. So deciding to join Mr. Big was the right thing to do? I can't complain about all the extra money I'm making. You're better than this. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I kind of do. Copeland, listen. Help us take down Mr. Big. Because you're not ready for what's to come if you don't stop. Ready? When this is over with, you're going to be gone and forgotten about. Real funny. Did you ever think you were a good cop? You're a fucking joke. Is that what your wife said when she left you? Fuck you. You wish. One of us is gonna die here tonight. And that's gonna be... Right. I just was gonna die tonight. But it was you. You know what? I'm done. That's it. Please, listen to me. My mom saw what Lamar was scheming. She saw that he was only using you all along. She set him up to get arrested, to save you. When Lamar figured out what she was scheming, he manipulated the situation and turned you against your own sister. Why would he do that? Control? Lamar loves to be in control. Look what he's making you do. Neither Kate nor I would ever betray you. I love you more than life itself. Remember that book that I was writing a few years ago? I finished it and I dedicated it to you. I even used that quote that you always told me when I was growing up. 
On this planet, there's nothing more prized and powerful, powerful than true, true friendship. friendship. Auntie, we had true friendship. We forged that bond that was never to be broken. Look at us now. Please. Please. about you. I, I tried to text and call. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You're okay. Trey, where's Brittany? Oh my god. You know, I ain't got no heart. That's why I left. Can't you see? I had no use for you. You're useless, Jordan. Go ahead. Put the trigger. Put the trigger, motherfucker! You don't got the balls. You don't got the balls! <laughs> We gotta, we gotta go. There's a bomb in the building. We gotta go. Come on, let's go. We gotta go. Everybody, move, move, get away as far as you can. Building's gonna explode. Trey, what are you doing? We have to go now. Okay? No, I'm not leaving without Brittany. Are you crazy? No, no, I can't. Trey, no, we can't just stay. I'm here. not leaving. No, we can't stay here. 
No, I'm not. I can't leave. It's I can't. Great. You don't have a chance. Come on, come on. Go ahead. Our families. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. No, thank you. Quite unfortunate what happened. I lost my best men that night. I'm quite disappointed. Not in you. <laughs> Listen. We still have unfinished business that needs to be taken care of. I need you to take care of this. You don't want to disappoint me, do you? No, no, of course not. Because if you do, There'll be consequences. I think it's time we pay the city a little visit. 